Are you stuck between deciding whether you want to be an engineer or a doctor? Both of these careers can be highly rewarding in the sense of personal satisfaction and monetary compensation. Well, we're going to go through the three questions you absolutely have to ask yourself to finally decide what career path is right for you. And make sure to watch through the end of the video for the best tip that I've personally used to make this huge career choice. Okay, now if you want to be an engineer, smash that like button. And if you want to be a doctor, hit the dislike button because I'm an engineer. Just kidding. Hit the like button too because this content is great and will help you make the right choice. Okay, the first question you have to ask yourself is, what do you think you'd like more, working with patients or other engineers? As a doctor, you'll likely be seeing, diagnosing, and treating your patients. Versus as an engineer, you'll generally be collaborating with other people on a professional level, such as other engineers, technicians, or suppliers. Most of the people you deal with as an engineer likely have an engineering background as well. Okay, question number two. How much time and money are you willing to invest in schooling? Engineers can start working right after they graduate with their bachelor's degree, which usually takes about four to five years, depending on how many classes you take and how many internships you do. Which, by the way, now that we're on the topic of internships, I'm going to tell you that I highly recommend them because that is the best way to network and the best way to get experience before graduation. It's also important to note that generally engineers make less money than doctors do, but they do start getting compensated for their work a lot sooner than doctors just because of how long it takes to become a doctor. Okay, so for doctors, we're typically looking at first getting your bachelor's degree, then going to medical school, and then doing a residency. So we're looking at maybe 10 to 14 years of school. Okay, so we must talk about how medical school can be very expensive and the interest does compound on the student loans. Therefore, it's not uncommon for newly graduated doctors to have anywhere between $200,000, $300,000, or even $400,000 worth of loans versus an engineer who can work with their bachelors right after graduation and because it is an undergraduate degree it's a lot cheaper than a medical school degree. Personally I knew I didn't want to be in school for 10 to 14 years before making a decent salary and I also knew I wanted to do the things I enjoy sooner rather than later like traveling and spending time with my family and my dog and I also knew I wanted a really good work-life balance which I thought was more doable as an engineer. Okay now on to question number three. Visualize your life in 20 to 30 years. Where do you see yourself and what do you see yourself doing with a smile on your face? Okay, so a lot of times we let other people influence our really big life decisions. So in some cultures, the entire family may expect you to become a doctor. Or maybe it's a teacher that says you have to be an engineer because you're good at math. But ultimately, you will be the one making the decision and working in this career for 30 or more years not the people who are trying to influence your decision. I know that when I was picking a career path, I, along with many other freshmen at my university, said we wanted to be doctors. But after just one semester, I realized that I was really interested in technology and rockets, not biology and health sciences. Okay, let's be honest. Both of these careers involve a lot of studying and a lot of sacrifice. So you wanna make sure you pick the right one for you which is why it's crucial to pick something you're actually passionate about. Remember, things are constantly evolving both in the engineering and medical fields, so you'll probably have to learn new concepts and stay current in your field, which is why it's important to make sure that you enjoy what you learn both in college and for the rest of your working career. Okay, so now it's time for the best tip I can give you that will ensure you make the right career choice. I recommend that you get exposure to both fields. Healthcare exposure can be obtained through shadowing and volunteering, or even getting a job as a scribe or a medical assistant, anything that gets you to work alongside a doctor. The same thing applies for engineering. Volunteer at a company you're interested in, or shadow an engineer you think has a really cool job. You may be disappointed when you find out what an engineer really does, or maybe you'll find yourself extremely interested in the work that's going on, and you'll realize that engineering is the right choice for you. So a question for you, what are the pros and cons you see to each of these careers and why would you choose one over the other? Let us know in the comments below. 
Let's start a conversation and help each other because the more debate and thought you can put into that career choice, the more certain you'll be about your choice. Remember, whichever of the two careers you pick, they are both amazing and rewarding careers, so you will not regret it. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.